Billy Graham was 15 years old at the time. Just a few months later, he accepted Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. That choice didn't just change Billy's life, it changed our lives. It changed our country, and it changed, in fact, the entire world. The North Carolina farm boy walked out of those fields into a great and beautiful history. The president and the first lady took part in a rare moment of political unity. Both sides of the political aisle came together in the Capitol Rotunda to pay tribute to Reverend Billy Graham. It was a rare tribute for the Reverend. He was basically the fourth person, the pr fourth private citizen, to lie in honor in the Capitol Rotunda. He is called America's pastor. He died last week at the age of 99. Let's bring in New Life Harvest Church Bishop Leon Benjamin. Bishop, good to see you. Your thoughts today on the ceremony. Hello, Liz. Good to be with you. You. What are you, what's your uh, reaction to the ceremony today? I tell you, the words that our president spoke, uh, it, it, it just makes us really, really want to reflect on what America is all about. Uh, the life of Billy Graham, the legacy that he left behind, the millions of souls who gave their life to Jesus Christ through his message, uh, the simple message of John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. It, it just really brings America back to a posture of knowing what our true mission is here, which is to, to love God, to love mankind, and to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ until his second coming. I mean, it's, it's just amazing. A simple casket made out of pine wood, made by inmates at Louisiana State Penitentiary, uh, again, Republicans and Democrats alike came together to honor the memory of Reverend Graham, uh, a well-known evangelist, America's pastor. He was known to say, Bishop, that Jesus does not have a political party. He counseled a dozen presidents, was friends with Queen Elizabeth. He also introduced racial integration into his revival meetings. Back in 1953, he started that. He preached with Martin Luther King in 1957, helped bail out of jail Martin Luther King in the 60s. Your reaction? Yes, truly, truly the gospel, Liz, breaks racial uh, lines. It breaks denominational lines, and it definitely breaks political lines. This, this is where America, when we talk about living right in the middle, not too far to the left, not too far to the right, there are extremes on both ends. But... What Billy Graham showed us, the Dr. Billy Graham, that the gospel gives us equal playing field. And, and, and this is what we have to get really back to as America. And I truly think the challenge for us today is to allow that gospel to bring us back together, uh, one nation under God.